<laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, welcome back to another episode of XNM Gamer X. Uh, this time I'll be playing the game Sweet Sweat in Summer. I could barely say that with a straight face. It's really hard. I wasn't laughing about that. I was laughing at something completely different. No, what it was, I actually had to do several retakes because the video cut off on me about midway through. So I lost about 15 minutes of my life off that one. And then had some internet connection issues, which started fucking me over even more. So, uh, if you are if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to me. Uh, I used to have like 300 subs, but YouTube said, Boop. hey, goodbye. But I was in basic combat training. Imagine that. And if you're uh, not new, then thanks for subscribing to me again, or welcome back. Uh, how my videos usually work is I will... <coughs> uh, this little short intro, and I'll leave a link down to my Vimeo below, so you can actually go see my other channels that has uncensored content over there. Ooh, uncensored, yeah, hell yeah. Alright, so go check that out. And, uh... <laughs> I was originally known for my If My Heart Had Wings series, so I do have that on my Vimeo account, so please go uh, watch those as well. Uh, anyways, without further ado, just go ahead and jump right on into it. I'm right. The fuck? Oh, shit. Here we go. Uh, over again. I don't want to. It sucks. Uh. No. It was hot. They say haste makes waste, and that's exactly right. In front of me, a trail. Behind me, also a trail. The trail seemed like it would never end. Sigh. I really shouldn't have tried to take a shortcut just because it looked like there was there was one on the map. Getting lost in the mountains at my age is hardly a laughing matter. Dumb fuck. It was summer. I was returning to my hometown from the last eight days of my extended holiday. For the last. Oh shit. Okay. This wasn't really your typical homecoming, however. You see, I had no memory of actually living here. It wasn't really that big of a deal. Losing some of your memories in a car accident or something isn't exactly unheard of. So because of that, this homecoming was more like a little vacation. Damn! The sun's gonna get set soon. The sun's gonna set soon. Alright. I wanted to go back and in time and smacked myself for getting all excited over finding this mountain trail. If I didn't get where I was going soon, I'd be stuck here for the night. And sleeping outside this temperature could result in heat stroke. Ah, so tired. For cutting through the endless trail, I finally arrived at my destination. It was drenched with sweat. Huh, huh. Alright. Well, there, there's a sweat in summer. You just need to find the sweet part. Time to find somewhere to stay. Oh shit! Fuck. No, you stole me. Eh? It seemed like absolutely nobody was around. There was no way that could be. Considering all the houses in the area. Excuse me, is anyone there? Of course not. I was at a loss. It was terribly quiet and it seemed as though anyone had heard me shout. It didn't... Ah. It didn't feel as though anyone was around. Other than me. Depopulation, maybe? I'm going to end up spending the night outdoors at this rate. Oh, that's a school? Or at least it looks like one. The gate was wide open, even though all the students and staff should be, should have been on summer vacation. But if they 
gate was open. What well, must have been around. Thank God. Listen, if I were to go into the school just like that, I'd be trespassing. Well, that might not necessarily be true. Whoever was around would surely understand my actions when I was explained when, ex when I explained my situation. Excuse me. My steps were soft, like stealthy. All right. Kind of stalker. It's a little creepy. Did I look like some sort of thief? No, oh, you just look like a creeper. Enough of that. Hmm. What's this after? Oh. Hmm. Huh? Alright, I found the sweet part. It's like falling in love at first sight. Ah, uh, a girl adorable that she could be mistaken for an angel. There was indeed a girl like that underneath the golden haze of the setting sun. A sun that shone down on her innocent features, illuminating the tone of her healthy skin, which, okay, we have an epiderma fetish now, which looks strikingly vivid in, contra in contrast with the shade. Her figure was childish, but had enough curve to make it undoubtedly feminine and uniquely seek. It was as though her body had just taken its first step on the long road to girl from girl to woman. In other words, she's cute. Hold on just a second. I mean, yeah, she was totally my type and everything. Type meaning a uh, young female brunette in Under the Hazing Sun who's not exactly a woman yet. D don't breathe like that. Don't quit breathing in my ear. Ugh. Feels weird. With ASMR. Girls with bodies like yours. Okay, now you explain what you like. No, I love them. Alright, creepy. Even though she was lacking some meat on her bones, she'd still feel really soft and. Even though her breasts and thighs and so on weren't particularly developed, and it was about the time in her life when she started trying to dress in, in a fashionable sort of. Uh, of a way that show off her such parts, and she was absolutely perfect. I guess this is what you call homegrown? I'm not sure what that means. To be completely honest, part of the reason why I was doing this little trip in the first part is because I was hoping something like this would happen. Okay, let's go ahead and roll back and go through what's happened. Uh, you've hoped for a Lost on a mountain trail, find a deserted village or town, uh, walk into a school like a creeper, and find a young female who is a lolly and under the hazing sun all by herself, who just so happens to be your type. Alright, sounds legit. Like, wouldn't you think a country bumpkin would be a little too relaxed around guys? I was lucky. Maybe she'd want to play with me, and then I'd get some panty flashes and stuff. Yeah, great. Oh, she's awake. Now we're a creeper. Go ahead and blow the creeper whistle. Oh, crap. Suddenly, averting my gaze would probably seem more suspicious. You should definitely stare at her. Make continuous eye contact. That would be alright. Sorry for bothering you while you were sleeping, but there's something I wanted to ask. Huh? No, you've got the wrong idea, ma'am. I turned around in a hurry, expecting there to be a teacher behind me. Huh? There was nobody there. I wonder who 
as a voice actress or someone like this. That was the voice box. And someone did something with a pitch.
さんほらこっちこっち案内するね Looks like option A is then. You didn't have to choice. Oh, hold on.
Okay, I'm going to comment on the mechanics of this game. Mechanics are absolutely zero. They're not existent. The plot, zero. Non existent. I don't know what the fuck is going on with it. Despite reasons screaming me to do otherwise, I knew I should shouldn't. But my fingers grasped her shorts. And 